Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. So, I, I past two days, I wanted to do a cast yesterday, but then I, I didn't do a cast. I found it funny, this whole Hellboy situation, okay? And I, I and I, look, I, no disrespect to what Mike Mignola, whatever guy created Hellboy, no disrespect to anybody, but we, like, you have to, like, I, for the life of me, I don't understand how when they had thought up this whole thing, which is great to do a Hellboy movie. Yeah. The placement was awful. It you, was abominable. Yeah. You have an ego to come up against Captain Marvel, Shazam, at like, and you're putting your movie right in there. I mean, you have, you're Terry. trying to do something where if you don't want to see either of those two, you get something else. But you don't put Hellboy. Up no, there was a lot of good movies uh, out. Even yeah. Dumbo and everything. So what the weird phenomenon was is that it came in third place. It got beat by a movie that nobody expected, Little, which was like, I guess, a remake, sort of a Freaking Friday. Yeah. Uh, or something like that. And then, as time went on, Hellboy dropped, and everybody oh, else rised oh. up. It was, what, number seven or six? Now it's 10th it place. Seven. Yeah. And I just want to go over it because Dumbo made money because of Hellboy. <laughs> Captain Ten Marvel made money because of Hellboy. Pet Cemetery made money because of Hellboy. Everything made money because of Hellboy because all these movies boosted up. Captain Marvel jumped up spots now. So I Hellboy a special site, and I watched the first, like I said, five ten minutes, and it's just oh god. So as of so as of Friday, the number one movie is The Curse of La Llorona, which I'm gonna go see tomorrow. Yes, now she that movie has in. For Friday, this is Friday, 11 million eight hundred thousand. Not bad. It beat its budget in a day. I can see day. how. I can see how. Uh, Shazam is number two. It got knocked off the top spot. Two hundred, two hundred eighty-eight though. It, it, you know what? It's probably going to come out a hundred million dollar profit or more. Yeah. It's a success. It's getting a sequel. Great job. Breakthrough. I never heard of this movie. Breakthrough. Is the third movie? It's ten million, about uh, a little over ten million. Um, and again, that that takes away from Hellboy too. N number four is Captain Marvel, which now I think it's doing better too because it because uh, End Game's coming out. So Captain Marvel has one billion seventy two million. And of course, the Disney store over in the mall. They probably, probably all do, but the Disney store over at the mall has got one of those little panoramic views for End Game, and they're of course in that, that like the uh, over right hand side, yeah, it is Captain Marvel. As I walk by, I says, oh, "Don't fuck this movie up." <laughs> yeah, I know. I took pictures too in front of the things too. Uh, we got Little is number five, uh, twenty five million, which it had a twenty million dollar budget, so it's profitable. Um, and number six is Dumbo, which Dumbo did better. Uh, it two seventy five. I don't know if I don't know if it's profitable yet though because it's hundred seventy million budget two seventy five. That's like a hundred five million. I don't know. Uh, probably needs to do a lot better. And then we got Missing Link, which is number seven. Yeah, which is a cartoon. Ten million three hundred ninety seven thousand. Wow, everything is doing better than Hellboy. Like how embarrassing like, he must feel. Like I said, go over. I'll send you the link. I won't send you the exact link. I'll send you the link to the site that I yeah, got. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want to bother watching it. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I'll wait. It was done. It was done by somebody, I guess, using one of those little handy cams. Yeah, I don't care about that. And it, even the beginning of the movie, it, the guy who's also in John Wick and the American Gods, his his voiceover to it was just like, well, I'm gonna. I'll, 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 see you I'll, I'll do the basic. Uh, I'm not gonna be exact. This is hell. But this is the demon queen. Blah blah. He blah. wasn't into it, right? It, it looked as though this person was going to do this and blah, blah, blah. He collected blah. a check and he just, he just wasn't yeah, into it. Right? It was just like one monotone. Language. Right. Wow. Okay. So, had to, okay. So, what else do we have? We had Pet Cemetery, 85 million, and it, it, $21 million budget. So, that, that's a success. I know they wanted to do better than that, but you know what? Mm -hmm. Us really destroyed movies too, you know. Oh, it did. It I have to say it did, yeah. Two thirty two thirty nine 
That was going to be 240 soon. Way more than 240, actually. Um, and then we get to Hellboy, which is the 10th place movie that can't even make more than 20 million. It has in. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. You know, it. All right. It has 17 million in. It might make 20 million. It has 17 million, but it can't make 50 million, which is. Wow. What an embarrassment. Um, again, this is what you get. But you know what? Maybe the movie. Maybe it wasn't just about placement. Maybe the movie did suck. Like you said. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I did. Because I very rarely watch. If I see something on this site that says uh, Handycam, I never watch it. Right. But I thought, you know, I'll just get it. We're talking about how bad it tanked. Let's just call it for what it is. So I'll just take a couple minutes look. It's like, oh, my God. Right. right. I, would, I, would, I would rather – this is how bad, folks. I would go – I would rather go see – the last Fantastic Four movie over seeing Hellboy. Shit. Yeah. That's rough. I'd rather suffer through that last Fantastic That's Four. That's a rough thing. Wow. You think it's that bad, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Hellboy's done, just about. Um, happy Easter, everybody. As far as Easter. Happy Easter. Happy and, Passover. And, yeah. and happy 420 to those who know what That's I'm talking right. Uh, I think that Charles play is going to do horrendous. It doesn't look yeah, good at all. I agree. There was a trailer for the, the Gotham finale, too. That's done, huh? I saw the Gotham finale. I didn't see it, but I was saying... I guess Batman's in it in yeah. the last episode. Huh? Yeah. That's interesting. So they built that whole thing up for him. So why don't they do a Batman series now? Like a, a sequel to Gotham. I was I, I was wondering about that, and I did see this. I did see the finale for Discovery. It was it was good. It was good. Well, let me ask you a question. Now I I pretty much I think I know what happened, but we before Discovery even came out, we were talking about how we heard through sources that it was at some point in time going to take place in the future, right? So now, that's the season spoilers, finale. spoilers that's for basically the season finale, all right? Right, spoilers but for every, Discovery, they should be yeah, thrown into the future because it would alter the timeline and all that yeah. stuff. But it, nonetheless, that's the season finale. They're heading that direction with the season finale. And now they're going to stay in the future for good, probably. That's, yeah, and I even hashtagged on their side, it says, Captain Pike series, because uh, right. to me, because, and I will, this may sound a little bit of a spoiler, but Spock does get his iconic puts puts back on his iconic suit. Okay. So now, what was the reasoning for them to go into the future? They they so they weren't supposed to be there or something. What like what no? Was the there's there's this uh, AI called Control. Okay. And and they foresaw and somehow it was foresaw that Control would destroy everything. Okay. And in mm -hmm. order to prevent them from doing so. That's the AI that was in that short with the guy that fell in love no, with the guy? No, guys, it's something entirely oh, different. Okay, okay. Something entirely different. <clears throat> okay. But, yeah, the yeah. only way they can actually protect the few, uh, protect everything <laughs> for them to – first they were trying to do it so control doesn't gain control, uh, all the information. <clears throat> right. And then they thought, okay. So control is after the discovery? Pardon? Control, like they have to go to the future? Is that what it is? The, in order to keep control from destroying everything, they have to go to the future. Because they were after Discovery, or they were after this information that uh, Discovery uh, has. That Discovery had, yeah. And and what do they do? They they the guy, I guess Pike, just they didn't say anything about their history, like for the for the law. What they pretty much did, what they said is, okay, so in order to protect everybody, we have to stay mum. Oh, so they have to make it like they got lost the ship. It, it, so they got destroyed, basically. They never America. said anything about the spore drive. They didn't keep records yeah, of anything. Yeah. Every, everything about it is like, in order to protect Michael and everybody aboard. And even the Mirror Mirror Mary universe, too? Uh, that I don't know about. That's probably what they're going to address. Well, see, here's the thing. Wouldn't they have to be quiet about everything, even the Mirror Mirror Universe? Because then that would alter the future. Would, would the only, th the only thing they've got to be – I guess so, because even with the uh, – anything about Discovery, every single thing, whether it's – whether it's – whether it's my, what Michael did and all this, the story – it has to be as though – 
they got destroyed during this final battle in order to protect them. So, okay, so that the timeline's protected, and Spock never yeah. talks about his sister, get quiet about that, and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. It was, it was a good, it was a good, see, it was a good uh, send off, and like yeah. I said. They need a pike. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people. Who, this is in Star Trek. This is in Star Trek. It's sad. Well, maybe they'll do a pike series. Or maybe oh, it not. would. I, I, I think, think they don't want it. You know what it is? We talked about this before Discovery even started. By them putting it in the past, it caused massive problems. Yeah. And and they would be tripping all over everything. So now they have an open campus, basically. Yeah. Right. That they could just do whatever they want to do. Now they're in a the far future, right? They're yeah, past. The future. Where, wherever that future was, where yeah, it was even, a little short. So they're even yes. past Voyager and and um, Picard, everything. Yeah, because last we saw of them, we see right. we pretty much see them going into a wormhole, whatever okay. type of hole you want to call it, into the future. You know what? That might do better now because it's yeah. in the future. Because again, but but then their ship is outdated. Then though, that technology so possibly. Possibly, but still, that yeah. way they might cut down. It may be able to cut down on all the uh, gripe about it. But who they got to play Pike? The guy, the guy that got to play Spock. And that they, they were good. They right. Were good. And this was technically ten years before um, Kirk, right, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's older, right? By that time. Yeah. Quite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I mean, you know what? I, I'm gonna watch it eventually. I, I was getting caught up with the Orville too. I saw the yeah, I saw the next to the last episode last night, and it's good. It's. Good. I got up to um, the last thing I I did a review on episode three, Home. I thought that was yeah. really good, especially the twist that spoilers that the the the, the Doctor from Enterprise with the neighbor yeah. was a villain. That was good. That's and, and I, I, I mean, I was. That's why I said I can't. I don't want. I'm gonna be saying this. I don't want to say too much because it will spoil it galore. It was right. so great seeing different people from different uh, eras of Star Trek. And then I saw after it where the Krill came back and his girlfriend was a Krill. That was great. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. I was really happy about that. I got to tell you. And then uh, that's all I saw for now. So I got to watch episode five next. But Game of Thrones is tomorrow. So, I mean, we'll see. Oh, also, I saw Jurassic World 2 finally. That's good. You see it? The plot was terrible. The whole story was terrible. Awful. Dr dinosaurs in a house. That was like the stupidest thing. Not even the freaking Dream Lord could save that one. I mean, it was like... Oh, no. You were hoping uh, the Dream Lord would come in just with to... American accents? Come on. Yeah. That was... Let me tell you something. That, I mean, the, everything was... Look, special effects was on point the acting was on point but when you have a shitty script and spoilers too for jurassic world but i too but i predicted that the girl was a clone anyway right away i'm like oh she he won't let her see the pictures of you know whatever so she's a clone but um mm -hmm. she said you look exactly like again yeah, she's a clone but um yeah so i i wasn't it was good it wasn't great you know i wasn't really feeling it the movie which you know maybe you know, I'm surprised I didn't go see it in the theaters, but maybe because old band word of mouth I didn't go see it. That's probably why. Usually when we do casting, people like a lot of people like to suck, suck, sucks, I won't go see yeah. it, you know? Like when, when Chris kept telling me about Transformers, I didn't want to go see it. Well, it's just fucking terrible. I gotta get watched that eventually with the uh, last night though. So uh what else? Oh, tonight I purchased the Konami Arcade Classics Collection, okay. which is the when these their games were in an arcades, not necessarily Nintendo, yeah. because they couldn't. So I was like, why are they calling Gradius Nemesis? You know, it was like weird. And I'm like, That's why, because it was in it was in an arcade, and then the, I guess the the this the haunted castle was technically Castlevania, but the thing I noticed, and I just don't understand for the life of me, right? is even with the original Nintendo Gradius, right, the graphics were so much better. But then when you're doing a collection, you're making it like 
it was worse than what we remember. A lot of them probably use emulators, and that's why. Because I'm like, why is it worse than we remember? I'm like, I, you know, because I, I was like, I was liking it, but it wasn't like crisp. It wasn't. It was choppy, but I mean, it was twenty bucks. But that's I was why, like, that's why a lot of these, a lot of these uh, little miniature uh, miniature ones that we get are actually emulators. Their emulators are not as good as. Okay. Hey, Chris. Uh, What's up, Chris? I meant to ask you the last time, uh, have you seen? Did you see the controls for the new Capcom? No. Yeah, it, it's it looks decent. It's pretty Capcom much set up. What? It, it's it's a home. It's just like one of those little oh, mini okay. systems. Oh, it, Capcom. But it's, but it's okay. got Capcom, and it looks okay. It literally the little the controls spell out Capcom. Oh, okay. You've got clear buttons, which makes no sense. Right. You'd assume something like this, they would have A, B, blah, blah, blah. And then you have, I forget what you call them, those little joystick type things that you okay. see uh, uh, and all. But, yeah, it, it looks – you get you get 18 games on them. And I, oh. I think, and out of that, I saw only two that would actually play. Yeah. So, Hey, Chris. What's up, guys? What's going on? Dude, I finally saw freaking Jurassic World 2. I told you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You know? I'm so that, sorry. Yeah, I know. No, I want, seriously, how 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 bad was it? Like for real? I right. Away, I'm watching it. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Like immediately, I'm like, what is this? What's happening? Right. Why why does this make any sense? Why would they take the bone from whatever when they've got all the DNA already and every company's stolen the DNA and everybody copied everything and computer and emails and everybody knows everything. So why do you need to go and risk your life for this stupid bone? And then yeah. I'm like, it just doesn't make any sense. And then there's, they don't know there's dinosaurs on that, that thing. And Well, that, that, that's the thing that always got me. And someone else pointed this <clears throat> out in a YouTube video I watched shortly after the movie came out and after I had seen it. Um, it was like, why would you send unarmed people to the island? Yeah. To collect something like, 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 let's say for some reason they didn't have the Indominus DNA, which I agree with you. They should have already had it. But, right. like, let's say they didn't for some reason. Why would you send people to an island that you know is extremely dangerous? I mean, it just doesn't, like, they had a whole security division that was trained to, to, to defend park goers against an eventual breakout so like what yeah these what guys are trained that's what killed me too these guys are trained with killing dinosaurs right but right. then the guy gets in the cage with him how fucking stupid are you well like, my, my <clears throat> specifically at the beginning too it was like and i think that's what this movie suffered from it's like they, they these movies try they try to treat the dinosaurs like they're these like indestructible monsters yeah right and it's like I, i've said this a hundred times these are not kaiju. They're not immune to conventional weaponry right. like rodent or something, you know? If you shoot a dinosaur, you're right, going to kill it. It's not going to die. Kill. Yeah. Well, you know what the thing was funny, too? I was like, why are they even wasting time having Jeff Goldblum's character talking? Right. Like, like why would you care? Like, they killed millions of people. Or, or where not millions of people. They killed a lot of people on the park. Or, right. or the world, or whatever the exhibit was called. So, like, knowing in the past and the present, why would you even entertain saving? Like, would we ever go and save a whale? Or, or I mean, it th th doesn't make any sense because I think it's all like SJW shit. Because, like, there would be, oh, yeah. like, there would be, it was totally SJW because there was never, ever in history. A proceeding where, like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go save the whales right now. You're gonna get extinct, or the bees are getting extinct, or, or, or like any type of animal that was getting extinct, right. or, 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 or traumatic. They've never ever did this in reality. Period. I mean, technically, ever. technically, if these, well, and I'm just gonna humor the plot here. If these dinosaurs, or what you know, they're not even really dinosaurs, but let's say these creatures got off the island. They're dead. Everybody's dead. This would be like an invasive species that yeah. could pretty much take out a lot of things that we know of as normal species. That well, we like know Chris of. Pratt was like, listen, before you push that button, know what you're doing. Because oh, yeah. You yeah. push that button, human race is done, right? So she didn't push the button, but the girl did. 
But but that's the thing though. Like even like she pushed the button. There's not enough dinosaurs there to even cause like a minor issue. Like you know okay, maybe attack a town. So okay, I guess that might but be a minor. Can I ask you a question? There's one of each dinosaur, right? Of, of eleven. They, species? I, they, they said that they were getting eleven species off. But the how island. could they? How could they have babies? They can't. So so you shoot them, they're dead. Exactly. That's so why how would that make the mass extinction event? Like I don't understand yeah, how. That's what I'm saying. You, you I don't. I don't understand why this was such a big deal because, like, and this is why I said it. Uh, you, you, the National Guard can handle this. Right. You call in the National Guard, and they're like, "Yeah, all right, it'll be done no, in a no, week." Somebody, who somebody the hell who, wrote this, though? Who goes out and hunts during the during the hunting season could take care of about. So, four, so they did an right SGW there. Jurassic World movie. Like, and they totally effed up the whole entire plot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Why absolutely. did they do this, though? Did they know they did this? Did they, did they know they screwed up? No, they thought that this movie made a lot of money. I know, but so they're like, they oh, let's do it again? Oh, they're, oh I, heard, I read a news article today about Jurassic World 3 about how they're planning on using a whole bunch of practical effects and stuff. Not to mention that the, the merchandise line that came out with this movie. When yeah, I saw a handful of this one. This toy line was probably, and I have no problem saying this because it, it's true, even though the movie sucked. This toy line was probably the best toy line to come out in the last 10 years. Wow. You For didn't anything. walk through Walmart without seeing it. It, it when They're still making stuff to this day, like new things. And they're like, no, we're not stopping this line because it's making that much money. Wow. So they're, they're not even close to- Who's finish. making the toys? Mattel. Wow, and they're doing because it. Because what happened is Hasbro had the license and they made the toys for Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. And they were literally some of the worst products ever made. Right, 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 right. They were so bad that people, like Jurassic World fans, were like up in arms like, this, we're, we're not buying this shit. This is terrible. Yeah, it's garbage, yeah. Then when Mattel came out, they were like, yeah, we heard your concerns. We're going <laughs> to take it under advisement. Don't worry. And then it, I think it was at one of these toy fairs or something. They showed what they were going to do. And it was like we talked about it on the cast. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. And they and and to this day, they they just revealed that the last toy for that that they're making like a like a twenty five inch brachiosaur. Damn. That they've ever made, and and they they've got like people ready to pre order it right now. They don't even know what the price is. They're like, yeah, just whatever. I'll pay whatever it is. <laughs> so when is the third movie coming out? I take the money. I think it's supposed to come out either next year or in twenty twenty one. I think it's 2021. It has to be, right? Because I, don't I, think, I it, think it has to be because I know that I, I think that uh, Kong is next year. Trevorrow is directing it again after he got after he left episode nine. Oh. I think he went back into the the director's seat for this movie. Wow! Okay. Did he do the Jurassic Bayona World did. though? Did he do Jurassic World? So he Trevorrow? did the first one, and then J. A. Bayona did Fallen Kingdom. Terrible, terrible movie. I mean, but it was. Is, it was so I, think, I, I think Colin Trevorrow knew everything that was happening in the movie. And he was okay with it. So now he, they're gonna fix the next one. They're not gonna fix the next one. They're just gonna. Well, his his idea for the next movie is it sounds intriguing to me, but it has the potential to just completely crash. Okay. So I mean, I. What's the idea? So the idea, uh, everybody thought that the next movie was gonna be about how the world is now weaponizing dinosaurs, which yeah. sounds like a terrible idea to me. Um, and then he was like, "Yeah, no, we're not doing that at all." Um, this is going to be more about how people deal with the idea that dinosaurs are now living among us. That's stupid. Well, why would they allow that? Uh, why would, because why would the, the, these past two movies made like over a billion dollars each, so they're like, yeah, just do whatever you want. This is going to sound dumb, I know. But what they should try to do is let's, let's go like several centuries or years in the future and do a setup to where the island is put made as a preserve, but at the same time, I'm, they've a lot of the smarter dinosaurs are slowly starting to gain the ability of speech. Uh, sounds stupid, I know it's rough, but and it's futuristic which they don't want to go to. But that would be horrendous. Dinosaurs yeah. talking. That would be like when Godzilla and Angus were talking. Like Godzilla, like that whole tape. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my but life. Still, I, Are you kidding me? Interesting way of going. I know. Like I said, it would be stupid so you can run no, now. No. You know, 
you know what? You know what I found really convenient in this movie too. What? Is that they were like, "Oh, Isla Nublar is about to explode because there's an active volcano on the island." And I was like, "You guys didn't know that when you made a, a theme park there?" Right. Yeah. Like that's so like, stupid. For real? Like I know, I know sometimes volcanoes can become active in a short amount of time, but usually. Usually, yeah. there's some sort of seismic activity that alerts you to the fact that something's about to happen. So it's like, hmm, that sounds weird. How could they not know that? That's insane. And I that, love that too, script is all over the place. You know, allegedly Chris Chris Pratt is apparently fireproof because yeah, he's the only it. human in history <laughs> that can get within a meter or two of lava and be right. completely okay. Or get crushed into a wall by a dinosaur, like, like oh yeah, just totally yeah. And um, I love too how they 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 had the Indoraptor just in the basement. Yeah, let's they bring were just all the dinosaurs one. to my house. Like yeah, I like oh that one didn't work, so we'll just keep it locked so in the basement. So you tell me like the 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 okay. So and this is another thing that bothered me too. They threw this guy in there as cannon. Like, like this guy all of a sudden existed. Like, what he was? Oh, the Lockwood, Benjamin yeah. Lockwood. Yes, yeah. That was never around before. No. No. Ever. No. Ever. Ever. Not any movie no, I remember. They, just, they needed a villain. So, so in other words, they made it that he just helped money wise. Besides Hammond using his money, like he used money. Basically, said that he was like a business partner. Yeah. So in other words, he cloned the kid, and then they they broke partnership. Yes, because that because cloning moment, dinosaurs wasn't an ethical thing enough. It was cloning the little girl that made him. So the moment he, so moment he did that, he's like, "You're out." Yeah. And then he just got rich from him, or something, I guess, or whatever. I, I guess they were already rich. It was just right. Ridiculous. I, it, it, the, the 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 script was a mess. It was just uh, the whole movie was just a mess. And then they they threw they they just threw things in there that just. Didn't make sense. The guy, but, first of all, you know what kills me? The guy that's in charge of his money, right? Right. What is the incentive to do that if the guy is in charge of his money? He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't need anything. He's a millionaire himself, and he's going to inherit the whole entire fortune and make sure his do- granddaughter's okay. So why would you, if you made millions already and you had a regular thing and you probably had over a hundred million already, why would you care if you made a hundred million dollars from dinosaurs? That was, that doesn't make any sense. Generic business bad guy. I mean, that's Mm -hmm. basically that's basically his motive. Pretty bad. I got to tell you, the only, the only thing that I marginally liked in the movie was the Indoraptor and they even found a way to screw that up. When I saw the, when they explained the whole, you have to laser target the target for it to attack. I was like, well, this is the most useless dinosaur ever. And when they were going behind the blue thing, like the blue raptor, again, it's blue. Again, blue saves the day. Blue, blue, blue. It's like, okay. It's wow. a friggin', like, it's a friggin' velociraptor. Like, they didn't even But they're making it like he's a special velociraptor. Oh, shit. He's supposed to be like the super intelligent, like. I, I don't get it. And then, and then at the end of the movie, she like jumps up on that rock, and she's looking down at the town. And I'm like, yeah, you like do she's know gonna be the leader. Yeah. Like, right. Like, what happened? I was like, you do know that this is the last Velociraptor, like ever. Right, but she's making like she's gonna be the. And what was that stupid thing about? Because they have to show a lion, because the lion's king of the jungle. But oh, oh no, the dinosaurs are here now. You ain't kidding yeah. shit. It's like, come on. I don't understand. I, 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 I remember walking out of that movie and I was, I was thinking like, how, how long would it take the SWAT team to kind of just like get armed? They would, be, they would, be get out they there. would never make, let me tell you something. If they, if, if they were like, they wouldn't probably never make it to main areas. Like that whole, the whole military would be on that in seconds or minute, a minute even. Cause if they well, can even good, right now, they could take more Buddies with no, but like see somebody goes to have a missile attack now, the right? Even for two hours, right? Even like if they, they had a missile attack right now, some they could swarm the whole army and boom, like the, the, the air force could be on there like minute two, like. Not to so, mention that most of these dinosaurs were herbivores. 
Right. They're not gonna. They're not gonna like start. That's the thing with these dinosaurs. It's like what was that thing in the water? What? Oh, that was the mosasaur. Well, when did they make that? It was in Jurassic World. Remember, it was the thing that killed the Indominus. Oh yeah. Okay. The shark. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But even that, like. Okay, if it was a lot of mosasaurs, then I'd be like, okay, that might be a problem. But right. even still, it's one mosasaur. Right. The Navy has got – one battleship has this. One. If that. I mean, there's no there, – there, this is not a threat. This is, this is like the emergency broadcast system tells you to stay in your house for like a week or two. And then the, the National Guard comes on the radio and is like, okay, we got them. Right. So because these people are SJW government and world, they're afraid to kill the dinosaurs because it wouldn't be politically correct. Because it's an ethical thing. And it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. So He's now you'll so let dinosaurs into parks and preschools killing kids. And that that's OK. We that can't make do it because they're an endangered species. That doesn't make any sense, this movie. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, technically, you know, when when the one guy in the movie was like, Genetically, oh, I forget what he says. Like cloned animals don't have rights. I was like, you know, he's right. What? Hold on, Chris. What? Chicken nuggets to promote, promote that movie that you're talking about. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought that was funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead. No, I was like, there's a part in the movie where the guys like like genetically revived animals or cloned animals don't have rights. I was like, you know, technically he's right because right, they're, like they're not even dinosaurs. They're, they're like not. these like genetic aberrations of dinosaurs. So. If they're if they're now becoming an Their invasive, DNA is owned by whatever company uh, created them, so that company has the right to be able to do whatever what it's they just want. Asinine. It just didn't it didn't make any sense to me. I I think what they were trying to say is like, oh well, the dinosaurs that they sold, these other governments are going to make, and it's going to be a global. But that's thing. what they said. Like, they're going to copy them. They're going to make. Right. Them. I was like. But I was like, you're not going to sell me that the, that the world is going to erupt into a dinosaur arms race. Like, that's not happening. It's just a stupid idea. Like, what what are you going to do? What are you going to do with a baryonyx? You, okay, you, you, have a, you have a SWAT team of baryonyxes. You let them out in the loose, and then they start attacking both sides. Like, you failed. It's a terrible movie. And the other thing I don't understand is, they said, oh, they, they can, once they have one, they can copy them, right? Yeah. What, well, how could they copy them? Is the technology that good? Would they have a scientist name of what they're doing? I guess. I... So, like, if they copy them, then if they buy one dinosaur for $10 million, right? Right. Then they can make 100 and they can make, like, a billion dollars, right? Or something like that. So what's the purpose of them making a quick buck? I, this is just holes everywhere. Well, here's my thing. If you have if you have the technology, right, to right. clone these creatures, like a whole creature, why aren't you cloning people? Right. Like I don't. Why, why wouldn't you clone an army of people that aren't going to rip the other people to shreds when you don't feed them? Is that the next movie that they try to crossbreed a human with with a dinosaur now? I, I think that was an idea once. I don't think that's Jeez, what we're gonna get. That would be terrible. <laughs> That would have been even more interesting. That'd be terrible. Terrible. I, I would be afraid it was going to be like that, uh, the one alien movie with Winona Ryder. Unless you're thinking that might be too close of a comparison. This just was, this was a departure. It, it was almost like not watching a Jurassic Park movie. It was that. I jarring. looked at this movie and I'm like, this is like a movie, like say, like that, like sequels got direct to video. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. It was like a B movie of that. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. They made it like they were in love. They were supposed to be still together. Why was she not with them? That was stupid. I don't understand that. And they completely love each other. That doesn't make any sense. And then it's like, and then it's like, he just comes along. And it's like, okay, let's just do this. And it's, why are you saving the dinosaurs when they could have killed everybody? Like, th this was totally an SJW movie, which I'm totally against. So. Well, yeah. They, they even had that whole, like, the Dinosaur Protection Agency. This is and dumb. Was, it's dumb shit. I was like, what are it's you talking shit. about? Like, what Dinosaur Protection Agency? Well, they said they show that $880 million, which is a low number, by the way, anyway, with all the amount of money. Th that really should have been billions. But 
like all the people that died, the families got hurt and everything, they only shelled out 880 million. And how many thousands of families got hurt and killed? Yeah. That, somebody wasn't paying attention with that either. So Not to mention the, the property damage and the Yeah, that's a real Right, you have a company that's billions and billions and billions of dollars, and they just spent not even a billion. So no, they, no, they I'm, were... I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about what happened at the end of The Lost World when the, right. when the T-Rex got loose in San Francisco. Like, right. that, that was a problem because that T-Rex was hopped up on drugs. Right. So that's a problem. That's like a, like, you know... He's on steroids and right. he's looking for his, for his kids. So he's really pissed off. Right. You know, these other dinosaurs, they're all, the stegosaurus I, is going to knock over a flagpole. Like, just oh, just no. jump the shark. This movie jumped the shark. Uh, it was, uh, yeah. It jumped it was, the shark. No, I think because you, you made a mess now. Oh, yeah. There's it, no coming I, back. The next one's going to suck no matter what. It, I, I, it's a mess. It's a mess. And somebody needs to fix it, really. This was this was one of the first times that I ever walked out of a movie and I was like, you know what? They should have stopped at Jurassic World. Well, like when you told me about it, I you know I didn't go see it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to see this. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. Not bad because you listen to a lot of people word of mouth and you're like, oh yeah, nobody. So I didn't even see Transformers that time when you were talking about. It. I'm like, I don't want to see this. Oh I'm gosh. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it eventually last night, but. I don't know if you heard me say this, Chris, but I found my, I went to my special site to try to and try to watch um, Hellboy. I got five to ten minutes into the movie and I had to shut it off. That bad, huh? Yes. Like I was telling him, the uh, that even that be ep the, the beginning, the guy who's from uh, American Gods and John Wick, he had this monotone way of talking about the witch that they were battling, and it's like. Really, and, and granted, it was done by somebody holding a handy cam, <laughs> and it's like, oh God, shoot me now! I can understand why it didn't surpass Dumbo. That movie, I've never seen this, Chris. That the movie's so bad that other movies did better. <laughs> like Dumbo was like done. It came back. <laughs> Captain Marvel came back. Little, I mean, Pet Cemetery benefited from Hellboy. Everything, Hellboy's 10th place now. Dumbo moved up spots, Captain Marvel, us, it, it was above, everything was above Hellboy. Every, it, it, Hellboy helped everybody, and it, it can't even make 20 million. This is, this, embarrassment. I, I, say, everybody better go out and buy Hellboy and Hellboy the Golden Army, because that's the last time we're going to see Hellboy on the big screen yeah. for a while. Oh, done. 10, 15 years done. And the guy won't even have any negative stuff on his, uh, like, you, you, why don't you just admit you mess, made a mistake? Like, you know, I guess yeah. not. I oh. told him, because I said, I told him, told uh, Joe here, I would rather go watch this last Fantastic Four movie than go see that movie. Wow. And, and that's, that's telling you something. That's bad. Wow, that's you know bad. what? You know what, Chris? Something we talked about for a while. Remember how I said that, oh, how could Spider-Man Far From Home be the first movie of Phase 4? Like, that's weird right after it. Like, they yeah. changed it now, right? They okay. made it They they made it that Far From Home is the last movie of Phase 3. Okay. So, which makes sense, because now Spider-Man's no longer the face of yeah. MCU. Unfortunately. That's crazy. Kevin Fe Feige, 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 yeah, Feige. He, he announced that Spider-Man: Far From Home takes place minutes after that, and it's 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 even though it's like you know after Endgame, it's considered the way to close Last, it out. Yeah. See, that makes me nervous when they say that it's like minutes after Endgame because that immediately makes me think like, how how is this going to end? It, that obviously, obviously, listen, obviously. Again, for I, I don't know if this is spoilers, but we've talked about this before. Obviously, Tony Stark's going to die because he's so traumatized. He don't want to put the suit on, and he don't even want. He wants to go with his friends. He wants to be Peter Parker. He wants to go away from the superhero life. So, so obviously, Tony Stark dies, or Captain America dies, or both of them die, or whatever. Somebody dies, and he's affected by it. Even though he's brought back, he's affected by it, and he just wants to be a kid. 
and you don't want to be spotted. I was, so, I was watching somebody else's site. I forget who it was. Uh, but they were talking about how he and Thanos were so close to uh, uh, why. Well, don't, don't spoil anything for me because I don't want to know nothing about Endgame. No, no, it's not. No, it's not okay. going to spoil. No, this is like how Thanos and Tony Stark were like uh, pretty much similar to each other. The way they yeah, I don't want to know nothing about that movie, but I, I just. No, they, they weren't revealing anything. Okay. They weren't revealing but anything. I just have a feeling that he's there's going to be a, a Tony Stark's funeral in the beginning of. Uh, of uh, Spider-Man Far From Home or a brief thing on it, you know, and he's going to be upset. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's going to be like minutes or something's going to happen where he's just going to remember, you know? Well, he's going to be holding Tony Stark's dead body probably, you know? I don't know. But, uh... Come on, it's going to be Mickey. Mickey Mouse is going to come come in holding Stark's body. Yeah. And, right. And, oh. and Captain Marvel is going to come in and just save the day. We heard that uh, that New Mutants is a mess still. Yeah, a mess. Like they don't like they have no idea what they're gonna do with it. And they're still releasing it to the cinemas. They way. have no idea, and they, they still they are trying to do reshoots, and they, the actors are not available. <laughs> like because they're all doing their thing. It's like, you know, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be the weirdest thing when that comes out. But uh, just saying, X Men is gonna be the lowest opener for it, yeah. which I don't know if I believe that, but, you know. Hmm. I'm just waiting for Endgame, man. How about everything else? I'm, see, see I'm seeing movie. that uh, La, La Mama La La, or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, our movie. It's number one movie, yeah. Yeah, our number one movie tomorrow. And then... Is that what you're going to see next, uh, Chris? Is it going to see Avengers? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Was there any other news? Um. Yeah. Star Wars or anything? Tomorrow, if you're watching Game of Thrones, the final trailer for Godzilla is going to be shown during it. Nice. Yep. Uh, okay. Did you see Elmo in Game of Thrones? Oh, God. I, I saw a picture of that. Oh, that God. Insane. Strange. <laughs> that, that was insane. And Cookie Monster in um, the other show, Westworld or whatever the hell it was, that was weird, oh. too. Oh, there was something I wanted to ask you about because you're, the, you're my expert on this because I'm not – not a huge fan of it. Okay. What did you think of the Child's Play trailer? I hated it. That's what I figured. <laughs> hated it. Yeah, we were hated discussing it, it and, and we both agree it's kind of stupid. You, you, granted, I can understand you want to, your ace of the hole was Mark Hamill, but you could barely hear him say his this, two or three words at the end. This was like a uh, this was like a B movie Child's Play, like no budget. I mean. If I didn't know any better, I think this was in the '90s or whatever. It, it just the, the, the money is just not there. It's just the doll looks like shit. The I mean, I love Audrey Pla right Plaza, but I don't know why she's the mother. I guess, and I, I don't know. The casting's weird, and it, it just looks the colors, everything. It, it it just looks like bad. Like they spent no money on. I, now I'm totally convinced that. Toy Story is going to level everything. I mean, I, I know it was before, but like this movie, Child's Play, is going to get wrecked. It's going to be like Hellboy. It's going to be an embarrassment and bomb. That's what I think. <laughs> I don't care if Mark Hamill was the voice. He's not going to be able to save it. It's just no people are going to rebel against it because it's not what they think it is. It's not the same, you know? That's That's... More or less the reaction I've been hearing from a reboots, lot of people. People don't like reboots sometimes. And, yeah. you know, this is one of them where they're going to tune in on TV to see the sequels of the real universe. So, Oh, yeah, true. Why would you care about this if you could see that? So, I don't know. What's going on with Star Wars? Anything? Uh, I big haven't heard. shit out there with the Palpatine thing. Yeah, that's basically been the... Um... Every day. That's been the main thing now is that people are trying to figure out uh, how he's coming back. I, 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 To be honest with you, I'm taking the road where I'm not even going to try to figure it out because I don't nearly have enough information to, to even speculate on how he comes back. I honestly think they're going to do something new in canon where yeah. there's a force ability to bring someone back to life. I, and I think, can, And you yeah. can only do it once. 
I think it's either that or or he he knew how to do essence transfer and he transferred. See, that's the thing. It's like you know how he said we could learn it together, right? Yeah. Maybe he did learn it, and we didn't know about it. Like it's possible because there's nothing in there that said he didn't learn it. Eventually, yeah, maybe, I mean, it's he did, maybe he did. You know, and he. There, there's yeah. a um. The theory that I've heard recently that I've actually liked a lot because it it kind of ties everything together and it, it makes everything kind of make sense. Um, in in some of the novels that have come out. Um, we know that Palpatine had some sort of uh, base or something on Jakku, which is, of course, the planet that Rey was on in The Force Awakens. And a lot of people think that that base, because um, he, he told the eventual protector of that base, it was a character named Gallius Rax, yeah. told him that this base is going to be extremely important in the future. Right. Um, a lot of people think that in that base, that's where they were cloning Palpatine. Or, oh. they were, or they were making, they were trying to make some sort of force being or something that maybe Palpatine could transfer his essence into in the, in the case that he died or something like that. But how um, did she get all these force abilities unless she's actually a Skywalker? Well, that, well a, lot of, a lot of people think that potentially she was a clone, like a body that was cloned. To, for Palpatine to transfer his essence into, or she was some sort of like byproduct or something of what they were doing, and that's why she was left on there. So I mean, it I, I like that because it's it's more interesting than what who know, she cloned from Palpatine. It's not necessarily that she's cloned from anybody. It was just kind of someone that they that like they made her, like they they just kind of made her, and then sort of the dinosaurs of Jurassic. Ah. So, yeah, kind of, yeah. But yeah. you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, I know that J.J. Uh, Abrams said that we're going to get more information on her past in this yeah. movie. So I, I don't know. There, there's a lot of people talking about something that happened in the Darth Vader comic, which is canon. And yeah. in that comic, he meets a past uh, Sith Lord, right, named Lord Momin. And he puts his essence in the mask. He puts his essence in the mask, yeah. And and that mask, he eventually, the mask, like, comes to life and possesses this other guy. And then but Darth Vader him. defeats him, though. Yeah, he crushes the mask. And um, after he does that, um, Lord Momin was the one who designed Vader's castle on Mustafar. Okay. And the castle is like a key to this dark side locus. Is what they, they call a force locus, or you can kind of think of it as, like, a dark side nexus. Right. Where the whole goal was that Vader was going to go into this, it was almost like a portal that would take him to, I guess, the afterlife where he would find Padme. So oh. he actually does this. And when he gets there, it's not really Padme. It's like a vision of the force that like just turns into this like horrible thing right before his eyes. Oh. And then in, in this um, portal, he sees a vision of a of a person holding a blue lightsaber and it's implied that it's it's a vision of luke skywalker that basically sends vader out of this portal and then vader crushes it and he's like that's it i'm done i'm not doing that i'm not going back in there and then he reports to palpatine and he's like you know my mission is complete yada 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 so a lot of people are saying hey maybe palpatine did what lord momin did and he infused his essence into something on the death star and right. when they go to the death star that's how he gets out Right, which they open up something or something. Yeah, which I, that's okay. I would be okay with that because that's right. that's not necessarily. So what like, do they need? To just somebody with the force just needs to go there, and then he's free. So I, I don't even think it has to be somebody with the force. I think it, it could really just be anybody, as long as they get near whatever it is that Palpatine infused his essence into. Um, how would he know that the Death Star would? survive some portion of it like to be on a planet like how you know what i'm saying like yeah, i don't know that's um that that's that gets tricky like this plot line was actually supposed to be something that happened in the force awakens hmm. and they never did it and okay. so now they're doing it now because jj abrams is doing nine okay so i'm assuming they're gonna explain that okay um 
my only thing is, is that if, if you watch um, A New Hope and Return of the Jedi, when the Death Stars explode, it doesn't look like there's much shrapnel left. Yes. Over. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't... Um, I'm no explosives or demolitions expert, but, you know... Yeah, yeah I when, agree. When, nothing, when it's left, all that's left is maybe something like that big, come on. I don't see something that huge being on a planet anywhere. What I mean, planet yeah, is that? Not, what planet is that it's on, though? Well, right now, people are either saying that it might be either Endor, a moon of Endor, or this stuff got sent across the galaxy onto another planet. That's weird. I guess the force of the explosion was so great. So they, that, what, know, they can't go to Endor? Why couldn't they go to Endor? Oh, they could go to Endor. It could be Endor that they're on. Okay. But, but then you would have to see Ewoks, right? Technically? Not necessarily, because this part of Endor is apparently like it, it looks like it's in the ocean. Okay. It's not the. It's the, they went to the forest moon of Endor, right? In Return of the Jedi, but I don't. I don't know if this is going to another moon or it's another part or something. I don't know. You know, it's 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 going to be weird, and I think that they they really have to explain if they're going to go this route with this is how Palpatine is going to come back. Right. They really have to make sure that they explain this properly because if they're just like, oh yeah, his ghost is there the whole time. It's like, well, okay. But another thing too, if he comes back, then you got to explain if he actually dies or not because he can come back again. Then. I think they're going to kill him off this time. Like, oh, for, right. Yeah. I, I, I don't think that there's going to be a, you know what they might do chance. now that I think about it. In the in the um, Dark Empire comic, when Palpatine tried to possess Anakin Solo, there was a there was a Jedi Force ghost that basically took his spirit and was like, "You're not coming back." And they drove him into <clears throat> the netherworld of the Force. You know yeah. what they might do is that in this movie, they might have like the Force ghost of Anakin and Luke, like take his spirit and force him into the netherworld of the Force. Or maybe and, Luke is alive again too. I mean, it's possible, but it, I, I mean, maybe I, I don't, if, if evil comes back, why couldn't a, you know a Jedi come back? You know what I'm saying? Like, would it to be Jedi, balanced? Jedi don't Jedi don't use that ability. Unless to, he, well, why wouldn't they? I mean, that's he's, they don't need it. They they don't need it if they know how to use right. They know how to become one with the Force? They don't need it. So the Rise of Skywalker could be Luke if you bring him no, out. I, I actually, I, I I'm I'm now on the boat of the Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker is going to be what they call force users from now on. Oh, because of Luke's sacrifice? Yes, they're gonna instead of being called Jedi, they're gonna be called Skywalkers. Oh. Uh, well. Because they've they've already started to implement that in Thrawn Alliances. When Thrawn tells Anakin Skywalker on my planet, force users are called Skywalkers. Right. I, I, I think that's what they're they're alluding to is that this is a Skywalker this is, what, is a Jedi or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna, or a new type of Jedi. Right. Raise new Jedi Order. They're not going to be called Jedi. Yeah, they're going to be called Skywalkers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Which, again, I'm okay with. I actually yeah. really like that. Yeah, well, I'm okay with that, too. All right. Time's running out. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye for now.